Michael Ziegfeld? Yeah, that's me. Me. No, st stay close. You're up next. Yeah. I've never been very comfortable with the audition thing. It's not so much the auditioning itself as it is the other guys you have to share the audition room with. I just want to blow you away. But by the time I'm seeing my self-esteem is on the decay. It's got forsaken DNA. But hey, you gotta use what you got. Ow. I just want to blow you away. But all these other guys. They moisturize and wax every day. Plus, they took cocaine and ballet. Okay, they get cast because they're hot. So yeah, maybe he's not shallow and maybe he's not stupid. Maybe he's just disassociated because he's nervous. Let's find out. Hey, dude, do you know what time it is? What do you mean? Okay. <laughs> I know this might seem judgmental, but once you get past their looks, what do you see? Just another six foot two walking STD. Hello, back to me. Here's my pledge. I'll make you laugh your ass off. I'm the character actor. That's my edge. That's his edge. Don't help me, please. I like the newer actors who are, they are just begging for so much individuality that they change the spelling of their normal name to phonetics. Anyone? Hi, I'm Cindy, C-Y-N-D-E-E. -E. <laughs> That is fucking annoying. It's worse when the guys do it. Hi, I'm Daniel, D-A-N-Y-U-L. You're a homo. From now on, I'm gonna spell mine M-I-K schwa L. I wanna stick pins in your eyes. I pray you get a rectal rash. I hope your visas decline, your children are blind, you're broke and have to do porn for cash. Become epileptic and violently shake. Find out that you were conceived by mistake. Fall out of a roller coaster. Take a warm bath with a plugged in toaster. In short, I hope you fucking die. I do. fucking stupid. Sorry. I'm sorry. Now, you, now you're just making shit up. I'm sorry. Pick one story and stick to it. That's all I'm saying. Because guess what? If we're allowed to start making shit up, I'm going to start praying to a bag of Doritos or my neighbor Kevin. And uh, I sowed my oats. I plowed a field. My field of dreams. If you stroke him, he will come. It's my neighbor, Kevin. <laughs> it stops here, and then there's a skin moat, right? <laughs> what do you do with that? Do you comb it over? Do you shave it? Do you respect it? I don't know what to do with that. It's been hot, also very sweet, and I'm not usually indiscreet. But when your grandmother and I are here to create the earth begins to a no-pressure situation for you, a buffer, what more a cushion. Can I say? How can I express? How confused no. am I? I cried for three months. Happiness. But uh, <clears throat> I've, I've dreamt uh, many times about what I would say to him if our paths ever crossed again. But I was uh, embarrassed and I was frustrated and now I was isolated. We laugh, we stumble, we take it day by day. What more can I say? Oh,
Thank you all for coming. I hope I surpassed your dream. I'm not the crazy one. It's the voices in my head. I'll even let you abuse me, just like a prescription drug. So hire me. I'm well equipped. I even wrote my own script to write my agent's number down and put my shameless plug.